We talked about the need and the help for Cuba and what Havana Night is all about, but one of the real treats is the food and drink. So Mark is back, as promised, and you're actually showing us how to create some food that is very Cuban. Very Cuban, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go over the Cuban sandwich, which is very traditional in my restaurant. It was probably one of the most popular sandwiches in Cuba. It's what I like to eat. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's very easy. Lots of people ask us for this recipe. So we're going to go backwards and just have you dissect okay. the sandwich backwards. So the sandwich is here, and we're actually going to open it up so we people are. can see what's yeah. inside. Um, and actually, there are only four items in a Cuban sandwich. One is mm -hmm. pork that's been marinated and roasted in lime juice, mm -hmm. cumin, and, and that garlic. Under here. That's on the bottom. And then they use dill pickles. Mm -hmm. And so then they use there. a white cheese called uh, farmer's cheese, a, a very generic white cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, I use Havarti, it's the closest cheese I can come to it. Yep. And then just ham. Uh, and you go. put it all together. The, the roasted pork and you put the bread on it. They use a Cuban mm -hmm. bread, hard to find in Grand Rapids. So we take uh, a French bread or something like that and in this one not so much but we flatten them. Okay. And Cubans taught me this great thing, if you don't have a flattener or something, uh, they take a brick and they wrap it in tin foil. Really? And that becomes their flattener. <laughs> so I love it. They make do with what they have to do. Yeah. It's a it's a fairly simple sandwich. It's not complicated. Once you roast the pork, uh, it, it's fine. And Can you describe the taste for people? It, the pork should have a very citru uh, citrusy taste mm -hmm. because of the lime juice and the cumin and the garlic. Uh, actually, uh, if you're doing it at home, you can throw the pork in your crock pot or whatever and let Ooh. it simmer all day till it falls apart. So the pork will be a, a, a a little more than our Grand Rapids pot roast pork that we're used to on Sunday afternoon. It will have a, a ting, which is the citrus, the Cuban, and they use that that lime and cumin for almost marination of everything in Cuba. Yeah, so, so it, that's it, a real taste of, it's a of very, Cuban it's fare. A very taste and of sometimes Cuban there's fare. a mojo sauce on the side too yep, that you can exactly. Dip your the same in. sauce that we marinate the pork in. Sometimes we make a separate sauce and serve it on the side. Do you side. toast it? I've had them toasted sometimes. I actually put them in the oven okay. and warm it, which melts the cheese, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then they flatten it. At, at restaurants, they, they panini them or something like that. So. This woman is warm, and so I'm going to try it. Do you want to start the mojito sure, while, while you I try it. sample the sandwich? Right. We sell uh, tons of mojitos mm -hmm. uh, mm. this evening, and I'm going to make a really fast one. You need some Delicious. granule sugar, okay? And mm -hmm. I'm going to use a little bit of sugar, and I'm going to use some simple syrup. syrup, syrup. Uh, most people make this themselves, Yep. but... Uh, You'll be using the simple syrup because there are going to be a lot of mojitos. There will be a lot of mojitos. Night. This is fresh mint, great time of the year to get it. We muddle it a little bit, which is uh, just kind of mash it up and get the flavor of uh, the that, mint that mint released. Mm -hmm. We're going to put some ice, excuse me, while I use my hands here. A little bit of soda. Mm -hmm. These are great drinks. There's, it's such a summer drink, too. It of course, very it's hot much. in Havana. Yeah. It's very refreshing. It is. With it the is. lime and the mint. It's rum. a great combo. This is Bacardi rum, which used to uh, be produced in Cuba until uh, after the revolution. Now it's produced in Puerto Rico. Okay. A little bit of lime juice. We don't want to make this too strong, but if you remember last year, you were about to have a child. So, so yes, you I didn't could, get to try my mojito. No, you didn't get to try your mojito. One. Yeah, exactly. You were kind gonna, enough to do that. I'm going to top it with uh, a little bit more of soda. And there you go. And a lime. One in, one on the side, because I like lime a lot. Maybe one on the side. And there we go. All right. So stir this up lots for you of mojitos tonight. Can you give us a rundown of Havana night again for those that may have not caught it the first time? Sure. It begins this evening mm -hmm. uh, at 356 Maryland, uh, seven, 6 o'clock. We serve dinner from about 6 to 7.30, 8 o'clock. And um, with this food, mojitos, bars, everything, Tickets are 75 in advance. You can still get them on the site or at Schuler's Books, mm -hmm. and then uh, 95 at the door if you come at the door. Okay, so, so it all great. benefits First Stand Aid. All benefits First Your Stand charity. Aid. Your yep. charity. Thank you so much, Mark, for coming no, in. Oh, my pleasure. We're was the sandwich good? It was delicious. Great. I'm really good. excited about the mojito okay, right now. Okay, very though. good. Enjoy. Right. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. We'll be right back. Take care. Mm.